Let's suppose that X represents where you are. That represents you, where you are in your life right now. You have the ability to take a very honest look at your life and see how you got there. Everything that's happened is recorded in your mind. And you can look back and you can see how one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another. You met this person, you met that person, you moved here, you lived there, you went to work here. And you'll see <coughs> in your mind how you got to where you are. Because you can look back at it. Now when you go to look ahead, you say, that's where I want to go. This is the dream that comes into your mind and you quickly get rid of it because you don't know how to get there. When we think of something, when it comes to our mind, let's understand nothing is created or destroyed. We've tuned into something that already is. And rather than let it go, what we want to understand is that there is a place. Yet it's a frequency that we tuned in on, way beyond where we're at in our own consciousness. If we can see it in our mind, we can hold it in our hand. We don't want to just let it go. Let's realize if we can see it in our mind, we can hold it in our hand. There is where I want to go. There is a place. This is real. This isn't just some fancy idea. That's why von Braun told Kennedy, President Kennedy, it would take the will to do it. The ability to focus on that idea, to stick to your knitting, as I say, focus on that idea to the exclusion of all the other nonsense that's coming at you. Don't pay any attention to the people who tell you why you can't. You can stay focused. The moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. That's a state there. Now, you see, if you don't believe it, you let it go. However, the moment your belief matches with any state, you fuse with it. This union results in the activation and projection of plots, plans, conditions, and circumstances. All kinds of things start to fun happen in our life. When we fuse with that idea, do you remember when you made the decision to do the Doggy Academy? All the crazy things that started to happen for you when you made the decision. They didn't happen before that. Some of you to get here, when you made a decision to get here, all kinds of things started to happen. And you're here. We got, to, we got to start to understand this. The moment your belief matches with any state. Well, how do we start to believe it? Well, we've got to understand that when we see something, it's not just something, it's a place. There is a place. It's a frequency. When we get on that frequency, all kinds of things start to happen. This new state of conscious awareness becomes our home from which we view the world. Act like the person you want to become. William James called it the actor's technique. Act like you're already there. It's your workshop, and if you're observant, you'll see outer reality shaping itself upon the model of your imagination. This is so powerful. You're a creative being. How did he create that illusion in his mind? When you move on to a higher frequency, you're going to be communicating with a world that's totally foreign to and beyond the reach of your five senses. Now, until we start studying this, we go by what we hear, see, smell, taste, touch. We've got to get away from that. We really have to start to understand. When you move on to a higher frequency, that's when you start using your higher faculties. 
You don't go by what you hear, see, smell, taste, touch. You go by what you can see in your mind nobody else can see. Now there is a place. Steve Jobs made it very clear. He said, you cannot connect the dots looking forward. You can only connect them looking backwards. So you have to trust the dots will somehow connect in the future. You've got to know that you can go there. Yet when you start, everything will start to happen for you. And one thing after another will start to happen. And pretty soon, you find yourself there. It's done. And when you get there, you're going to start to become aware that you could have gone there. Isn't that a bitch? <laughs> it's interesting, isn't it? When you get there, you'll realize you could have gone there. You've got to control the flow of the thought energy. You've got to let it flow freely. You can't entertain a lot of doubt and worry. It won't work. Okay? To move to a considerably higher frequency of thought, you must first consent. It's got to be your decision. Then you've got to adapt to the ideas and feelings this new frequency represents. So you see, it's not good enough just to read it in the book or listen to me talk about it. This is where you've got to do it. The future must become the present in the imagination of the one who would wisely and consciously create circumstance. We must translate vision into being, thinking of into thinking from. Imagination must center itself upon some state and then view the world from that state. That's what we're talking about here. To move to a higher frequency, you've got to consent. In other words, your decision. I couldn't do you. I couldn't take you there. Only you can go there. Then you have to adapt to the ideas and feelings the new fre frequency represents. Then you're operating from intuition. You're not operating from what you can see with your eyes because it's not manifest yet. At the suggestion of a move, though, your paradigm is instantly going to put up a royal battle. All hell's going to break loose inside and will continually fight you. You must take conscious control over the paradigm, remove and replace it. You see, when this crazy feeling takes over inside, you've got to understand what is taking over. You've got to understand what's causing you the problem. And you have to take control. You cannot let the paradigm control you. That's where that feeling inside, it starts to create doubt, starts to create fear, all kinds of nonsense. You've got to understand, it's like a person inside that's against you. That's really what it's like. It's like a person that's inside talking to you, and it's against you. It's a program. It's a paradigm. And it talks to your consciousness when you're alone, when you're laying in bed or getting up in the morning, or maybe when you're standing in the shower. And it's telling you why you can't do it. You don't have the money. You don't know how. You're never going to get somebody to believe in this. All those ideas are going to flow into your mind. That's what the paradigm does to you. You can ask yourself, what do you really want to do? When you go ahead and you look at that space or look at what it is you want, we refer to that as a C-type goal. It's a goal that you don't know how to get there. Now, what do you do? I want, this is what I want you to talk about for the next 10, 15 minutes. I want you to share with the group, what do you do to attempt to keep that C-type goal in your mind as if in present tense with all the nonsense going on around you, with the problems that you're facing? Maybe the lack of money, 
or the loved ones telling you you're crazy, you're wasting your time, get a job. What do you do? That's what I want you to talk about. I want you to talk about strategies that you can follow that will help you maintain the strength and the will to keep going towards that one thing. Now, I've been doing this for a long enough period of time to know that every one of us gets doubts. And we start to question whether we can ever do this or not. Because you're going to run into real tough times. If your goal is big enough, the problems are going to be big. And so you've got to keep going. When you make the commitment, when it's, it's not just something you hope can happen, something you wish could happen, when you make a commitment, you don't do it if it's convenient, you do it regardless.